secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried what is going on YouTube? So today is the first day the PS4 beta has opened up to everyone who has pre-ordered the game. So I've been playing on the PS4 lately and I want to give my first impressions about the game. What parts do I like, what parts I don't like, and stuff like that. So let's just jump right into the video. So currently I've played through a couple of matches on Team Deathmatch. And I'd have to be honest with you, I've actually had a little bit of fun playing this. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an overjoy of fun where I just like, oh my god, I gotta keep playing or anything like that. But I did actually have some fun, which is good because late, lately in the previous Call of Duties, I haven't had too much fun. Um, it was more of a hassle playing that game. But this seems like it's actually fun, which is a really good thing because now I might be able to get back into COD a little bit more um, if this continues. And one thing I was worried about when they are showing off the gameplay and the trailers about this game was their XO suits. I'm not sure if that's what they're called in Black Ops, but I know that's what they're called in Advanced Warfare. See, when I was playing Advanced Warfare, it was too much, it was very hectic. Um, a lot of the gun battles were taking place in the air, which I was not a huge fan of. Um, but Black Ops 3 makes it stay on the ground more. Um, you really don't use your XO movements that much. Um, the only time you actually use it is to get up to the second story building. Um, stuff like that so it's not really used in gunfights which I'm a huge fan of and also with Black Ops 3 they did add the wall running um, into Black Ops 3 and I feel like it's not nearly as good as Titanfall it doesn't require that much skill and it just kind of feels like it's tacked on it doesn't feel like it's really adding much there's only a couple routes you can actually wall run compared to Titanfall where you could run on the walls regardless as long as there's a wall you could run on it so I'm not a huge fan of the wall running so I've used a variety of different guns that they currently allow me to use in the beta and I feel like the gunfights feel really good they feel re very rewarding when you actually get a kill um, which I'm a huge fan of and I think everybody else is a huge fan of it as well but I feel like the time to kill may be a little bit too short um, I know the Treyarch developers did say that the time to kill is shorter in the beta and they know that and they're just kind of waiting for our impressions like this video um, to give our thoughts on it so I think it should be um, increased ever so slightly because um, currently the time to kill is a little bit less than the Black Ops 2 version in Time to Kill so I'd probably almost match the Time to Kill in the Black Ops 2 because I feel like the Time to Kill on that was so superb and I very enjoyed it and I think a lot of other people enjoyed that too as well. A new mechanic that Black Ops has added within their new game is the super ability and this comes straight out of Destiny they didn't create this out of the blue they straight up copied it. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that they copied it but I'm not sure if this has a right fit in Call of Duty because Call of Duty really depends on um, building up your kill streaks and not dying from um, fake deaths almost because uh, in case you don't know the super abilities you can either get a gun or some type of a weapon or some type of ability and to unlock this super all you have to do is basically sit there so you can sit in the back of the map just sitting there and over time it might take you longer because you're not getting kills so it won't increase the speed up but you will eventually get one by just sitting there and once you get it you'll be able to kill anyone extremely easily so I don't really have an opinion on this I still have to wait to play more games probably but my initial thoughts on this is I don't know um, about this and how well it fits in there because when you actually unlock them, they feel more like a kill streak. They don't really feel like you didn't really earn it um, compared to an actual kill streak. So I'm not. I'm gonna hold off on my opinion on this until the full game comes out and I review the game and so on. One thing that I do have to know and that is a positive for this beta is the graphics. The graphics look really good. I'm really impressed what Treyarch was able to push on this. Um, they, it's on the PS4, so I'm not sure what the Xbox One or PC versions will look like, but I'm sure it'll look very comparable to the PS4 version. So I'm a huge fan of the graphics, although when you're talking about the graphics looking so good, you also have to talk about the frame rate, and that's where I had some issues with. Um, it wouldn't happen all the time, but occasionally I would get some frame drops, and it would be a really bad frame drops, where it's like, is this game frozen or what? It was extremely low drops in frames 
So I know this is a beta and beta is not perfect, it's not polished, it's not optimized, stuff like that. And I know the final game will be. Um, Treyarch usually does a pretty good job with that. So as long as there's no frame drops or anything like that in the final game, I'm happy and you can remove this complaint from this video. And so far the connections on this game seem to be really good. Um, if you haven't seen Drifter's video, he did make a video about this, about the beta being running on dedicated servers. We're not sure if it's every match is on dedicated servers yet, but it seems like most of them are, so that's a good thing. Um, I haven't had any dropouts or anything like that. The connections seem really good, and I've been checking my ping. I have really good pings when I'm playing this. So, so far the connections seem to be very good, although it's not everybody connecting the servers at the same time, but so far, so good. So in case you don't know, I'll be live streaming this game quite a bit. So if you want to go check out my Twitch channel, it's in the description. Go follow it so you get updates on when I'm live streaming and stuff. Um, but also, I'll be picking up the Xbox One beta, um, giving my thoughts on that, just getting more gameplay out in general. Um, but also, please like and subscribe and also share. It'll really help on my channel. And I'll see you next time.